This is Mr. and Mrs. Miserable, the deeply religious Puritan family from Norwich. And they're doing a wife swap with Mr. and Mrs. Mary, the party mad restoration family from London. The Puritan family want to ban parties, and the restoration family want to party all the time. I wonder how they'll get on. Oh, hi, hi, hello. Pleased to meet you. I'm Mr. Merry. Uh, call me Jamie. And uh, you are? Mrs. Miserable. Oh, surely you have a first name. You know, we're very informal here. Yes, I do. It's Fight the Good Fight of Faith, a wholesome Puritan name. Mrs. Miserable it is, then. So did things get off to a better start in the Puritan household? How do you do? Hi, Mrs. Mary, Jeannie Mary. You must be Mr. Miserable. Yes. Well, let's get to know each other a bit better. I've just got my first part as an actress in a restoration comedy. <laughs> Acting is sinful. You should be whipped and put in the stocks. Okay. So far, so good. Truly, these are terrible times. I can't, I can't believe they brought back theatre after we Puritans banned it. I mean, next thing you know, they'll be bringing back Christmas. Oh, hello. What an adorable baby. Well, what's her name? Silence. Oh. No, Silence is her name. Oh, I see. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Her full name is Silence Discipline. Search the scriptures. My husband chose it. Ah. Obviously, you would have chosen something a bit less gloomy. Well, yes, I wanted to call her. If Christ had not died, thou hast been damned. <laughs> would be ridiculous. After my mother. <laughs> yeah, perhaps uh, silence is the way forward. What a terrible and godly man. Since Parliament decided to restore the monarchy, England has gone to rack and ruin. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. needs to lighten up a bit. Catch up on all the fun she's missed. You know, Oliver Cromwell's dead. Puritanism is history. Hooray for Charles II. You know, the restoration's here. <laughs> Party on! <laughs> and things aren't going much better for Mrs Mary. Sorry, what's this? Dinner. Mr. Mary has laid on a party for his honoured guest. Not enjoying the music, Mrs. Miz. Music is sinful. Don't suppose you fancy a dance, then? Dancing is sinful. Well, at least let me get you a drink. Drinking is sinful. Obviously. So what do you Puritans do for fun, then? Fun is sinful. Time for the Puritan family and the Restoration family to settle their differences. Oh, King Charles II be that a curse on your restored monarchy. Yeah, a curse on your so-called restoration. Your sinful ways are an abomination. And those that sin shall burn in hell. Um, you... you like telling people off, don't you? Well, yes, we do. And that was fun, wasn't it? Yes? Yes, Pose. And just remind me, isn't fun sinful? Hmm? You sinful Jezebel. Well, you're going to burn in hell. Horrible histories. Do you want to know how poor Georgians made themselves look good? They didn't. Ha! Horrid, smelly peasants. They couldn't have been more different from us nice Georgian posh people. This is Lord and Lady Posh from the manor. Hello. We're very, 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 very rich. And they're doing a wife swap with the peasant family of Poorville. Hello. We're very, very, very hungry. So how will these two very different Georgian classes get on? <laughs> My bedroom, poor person. Uh, this is your bedroom and our bedroom and the living room, kitchen and dining room. Oh, and where, pray, is the toilet? 
Well, there's a hole in the ground out back. Are you all right? And things don't get off to a much better start in the mansion. Ah, you must be Mrs. Peasant. Mm -mm. Mm. Enchanté. <laughs> uh. It's dinner time in the peasant household. I am absolutely starving. I haven't eaten anything for nearly an hour. What's for dinner? Oh, the usual. Nothing. Why is your girl staring at my hair? It is quite unnerving. I think you've got some food in it. That fruit is decoration, my girl, hmm? Hmm? I swear, I had more fruit in my hair this morning. That little scamp has stolen an apple. I shall have a word with the judge in the morning and, um, have her hanged. Dinner time in the posh house is a very different affair. Do you know, I spend more on grapes every day than you probably earn in a month. <laughs> mm. We don't earn anything in a month. Not since you posh people were given ownership of the common land. Ah, the Enclosures Act. Yeah, what a wonderful piece of legislation. I must remember to congratulate my close friend, the Prime Minister. Mm. But we poor people have got no fields left to work. Oh, that is a sad story. Would you like my private 27-piece orchestra to play you something sad? Orchestra! Play something sad. Now, do go on. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this about the Lord of the Manor, but I'm starting to think, in actual fact, he's not really very nice. It's time for the Lord and Lady of the Manor and the peasants of the village to settle their differences. And we really had no idea of the terrible conditions in which you peasants live. I see, my lady. So my wife and I have decided to do something about it. We're going to flatten your entire village. <laughs> hmm. What? Well, it is quite an eyesore, and it really rather ruins our nice country views. Mm. Hmm? I mean, you can tootle off to town and die working in a mill or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, you're upset. Oh, dear. Orchestra, play something sad. Oh, dear, dear, dear. No crying. No crying. Oh, Horrible histories. Groovy Greeks. People from the different bits of ancient Greece were very different from each other. The Greeks from Athens and Sparta really were like chalk and cheese. This is the Athenian family of Athens. Hi, <laughs> I'm a playwright. And they're doing a wife swap with the Spartan family of Sparta. I'm a warrior. So how will these two very different Greek cultures get on? my bag, Spartan slave, and then go and tell the master of the house that Mrs. Athenian has arrived. I am the master of the house. Oh, I'm sorry. And, um, and where's your dear son? I believe, like us, you have a seven-year-old boy. I do. He's out naked in the hills fighting with the other Spartan children. Oh. And when will he be back? When he's 15. Things aren't getting off to a much better start in the Athenian household. Oh, welcome! Welcome, Mrs. Spartan, to our home. I'm Mr. Athenian. This is my son. Why is he so puny and sickly? Why was he not taken up a mountain to die at birth? <laughs> <laughs> What's that water coming from his eyes, eh? <laughs> she's, she's joking. She's joking. <laughs> and Spartans have a very different idea of a woman's role. Right. Time to get something for supper. Great. What are you hunting? What are you hunting? Go get us a rabbit. But I'm just a delicate Athenian woman. 
I'm not allowed out of the house apart from to visit other women or to go to funerals. You are going to a funeral. The rabbits. These Spartans are unbelievable. You're at school, Spartan girls learn how to wrestle and throw javelins. Imagine that, a girl going to school. They should be at home, learning how to sew. So, Mr Athenian, any parts in your place for a strong woman? Oh, yes, yes. Right, then I should play it. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a woman. All female parts are played by men. <laughs> All right, well, I'll come and watch it then. Oh, don't be silly. You're not allowed. You're a woman. <laughs> ah! What a wimp this Athenian is, eh? I mean, what kind of a job is writing plays, eh? In Sparta, if you want a good night out, you just go and slaughter a wolf. Simple as. It's time for the Spartans and the Athenians to settle their differences. Look what you did to my wife. It's not my fault she fainted. She should be tough like my woman. She's no woman. I'm no slave like Athenian women. You uncivilised Spartan brutes. You lardy darn Athenian sissies. Right, that's about as much as I can take, OK? All right. Now, there's only one thing for it. Agreed! A fight to the death! No, no, I, I was actually thinking of a vote to see whose way of life is best. Um, OK. I vote Spartan. I vote Spartan. I vote Athenian. I don't get a vote. I'm only a woman. I make that 2-1. To Sparta! Oh, Run, yes. Jean! <laughs> Stories. Welcome to this special Celtic episode of Historical Wife Swap. This is Mr and Mrs Kelt. Their family have lived in Britain for centuries and they're doing a wife swap with their brand new neighbours, the Romans. Originally from Italy, they've recently conquered Britain. How will these two very different cultures get on? Hello? I'm Mrs Roman. You must be Mr Kelt. Hello, Mrs Roman. Oh, what a lovely stable. Stable? No, no, th this is our home. Oh. I just haven't had a chance to make it look nice, you know. I was just about to put up these decorations. <laughs> Enemy head battle trophies. I was thinking of putting this one up here. What do you think? Uh, oh, hello. Where's she gone? We Romans build our villas with stones and plaster. And I asked that fur ball what Celts make their walls out of. And it is only sticks and, get this, animal poo. Uh. But how is Mrs Kelt faring at the Roman villa? Hello? Oh! Sorry, sorry. It's the price you pay for having such a long, beautiful Celtic hair. I, I, I'm Gilder. You're a bit late, aren't you? I was expecting you first thing. But it is first thing. But it's nightfall. But to us Celts, nightfall is the start of the new day. I see. Well, I'm afraid you've missed supper. It's a shame I'd laid on peacock wristles. <gasps> but do have an apple. What on earth is that? It's fruit. You eat it. It's delicious. We brought them over from Italy. That's not half bad. We're off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> so will dinner time in the Celtic hut go smoothly? I am not hungry. No, I think I've lost my appetite. I'd like to go to bed now. Can you show me where my bedroom is, please? <laughs> bedroom? That's a good one. We have a wolf skin on the floor over there to keep you warm. Ow! Cut my foot! <gasps> Oh, that's a nasty cut. Oh. Don't worry, we'll soon sort that out with some top-of-the-range Celtic medicine. <gasps> Here, boy. A lick of the dog's tongue will soon heal that up. Here, boy. Where is he? Here, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Where is that? Hello. 
But how are the sleeping arrangements in the luxurious Roman villa? You'll be staying in the guest bedroom this evening. On the floor? On a bed. <laughs> a bed? Oh! It should be warm enough. I've got the slaves stoking the central heating. And in the morning, you can just have a nice hot bath. A hot bath? Or a dip in the mosaic pool in the peacock garden, if you prefer. Then the slaves will come and get you dressed. Oh, I think I'm going to like it here after all. Oh. This new Roman fruit is delicious. Apples, pears, plums, yummy. And they've even bought new animals over to Britain too. And they're so cute. Oh, look, here's one now. Here, puss, puss. Well, the wife swap is over, and it's clear not everyone has enjoyed their experience. I have had the most awful time. You Celts, you eat like animals, you sleep on the floor, your huts are made of animal poo, decorated with severed heads. You're savages. All right, dear, no need to be rude. No, Marcus, I'm sorry. I want you to take me back to Rome. I miss the climate, the neighbours, the civilization. Ah, that's right. You get yourselves off back to Rome, you stuck-up idiots. You might not appreciate a dirty, stinky hut, but to us, it's home. Right, th when you talk to my wife like that, that I, I will get angry. Get out of here, pal. Nasty. Come on, love. Let's go home. Uh, any chance you can take me with you? Ah! And your host are talking rats. The past is no longer a mystery. Welcome to Horrible History.